It's that time of the year where you start to smell the barbecues firing up and you hear the kids playing outside. And with that, we're gonna add more fun in the sun with a set of backyard dice. Yes, big dice. That's what we're building. We're gonna be building out of the six foot piece of uh, four by four here. It's a piece of spruce. We're gonna be building it and we're gonna be selling it because it's the perfect time of the year because all these events are happening. You know, weddings, barbecues, uh, even days like Father's Day, right? So people might wanna buy them as gifts uh, for their family get togethers. Uh, we're gonna be building a set is gonna have five dice so you can play games like Yahtzee, which is known as Yahtzee, Backyard Yahtzee. So follow along with me and let's make some money. So first things first, we're gonna make a template for the numbers on each side of the dice. So we're gonna have seven holes on this, on this piece and that'll tell us exactly where to drill. So using a combination square or by measuring, three and a half inches is the, one of the lengths of sides here. So it goes three and a half, right, by three and a half. So we'll take this, we'll lock it in. Now we're gonna make a template of one side of what would be a cube for the dice, right? And on this scrap piece of wood, we can transfer, uh, transfer that over. It's a little corner missing there. So we'll, we'll grab this bottom side here. Intersection. There, so we're gonna take this piece This will be our template. We're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes on this one. So let's take the miter saw off the table here. I'm gonna set this to a distance. I am not even recording the right spot. I just did all that for no reason. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna do two diagonals. That's why the combination square is just such a great tool. So I'm gonna do a diagonal from one side. And then I'm gonna do a diagonal from the other side. So now we know where our middle is. And now I'm gonna draw and I'm gonna take a line right through the middle here. There we go. So now that's our middle. We'll have a dot on this line, this line, this line, this line, this line. Now the last step is I'm gonna take it to five eighths. Hmm. What is, let me think about this. So I've decided to three quarters of an inch. So we'll run it down along each line here. And just make a small, Make a little intersection with one of the lines. So now we'll have a place. We can take a little pin here and we're gonna place this or we can use a little scratch all like this. And all we'll do is we'll put a guide, right? at the intersecting points. So once this is all marked, three quarter inch uh, Forstner bit, and take a piece of scrap wood, and then I forgot to mark this. We'll just, Clamp it to the table here so we have no blowout on the back side. I forgot to mark our friend in the center. Since we're not using a drill press, it would be obviously a lot easier to put the holes in straight. We're gonna try to do it right, right in that guide hole. And then we try to get this thing nice and straight. repeat. Okay. 
My battery died. My battery died. All right. There we go. Some of these holes could have been a little straighter with a drill press. Uh, because the three here never get put together on the same piece, we should be okay. Because they're really, some of them, like the spacing is really tight. If it didn't go in super straight, drill press if you got it. If you don't, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It'll be time for another stop block. So let's just prepare this. And so all I really need to do is put my stop block there, take my template, and I can put it down like this, and then, oops, I can touch my template onto the blade. The template is the size of the cube that I need, right? So I can hold that down. There we go. So on this piece, we have, a, we have a little section missing. So we're just gonna cut that out, not in, we'll just cut that ugliness out like so. There we go, so you can see it. All right, let's cut some cubes here. Butt it up against our stop block. And that's one set. I might as well cut another one. And now for the long part. Woodworking is for everyone and anyone can do it, and that includes you. Just take the next step by smashing that subscribe button. You're gonna join the community so we can build, learn, and grow together. Not sure if everyone knows this, but for dice, the opposite sides need to equal seven. So I, if I put ones all across here, the bottom side all need to be six. If I put fours all across here, this side needs to be threes. So there's all, you can look at a template online of how to do dice. So I'm gonna start with the number one. And right, so I'm just gonna do the first hole in all five of these. And the way that I'm gonna do it so I can set the depth is I'm just gonna stick this through, right? So it pops just out on the other side. And then what I can do on the tape measure, on the, uh, sorry, the Forstner bit, right, is now I have set my depth. So if I put this right on there, come in through the top. So as soon as the tape touches, we know that we are at the right depth. So that's, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So line this up. There we go. We'll do a number one right on the top. Why is this, they're touching now, but that was difficult. There we go. And we have our number one, it's because it's on the end grain, right? So we'll do number ones all the way across. Okay, well, this is gonna take quite some time. We have all of that, so we're gonna rotate them down and check the template. Did I already screw that up? I hope not. One, six, I thought I messed that up. I did not. So now we're gonna flip them down to five. This is a five. As long as all the fours are on the left, then we're gonna do the five. Here we go. One, five. Now it's six. The six template has to go this way. So the six is like this. 
The two is diagonal this way. Three this way, and then the opposite side is a four. Yeah, okay. So three diagonal. There you have it, folks. We have our die. So we're gonna just sand the inside real quickly, smooth out all the edges on these things. And I'm not gonna bore you with that, and we'll continue on. So I actually decided not to stain the piece. I think we'll just do, uh, we'll paint the holes, and then we'll throw a lacquer on top, and uh, it'll be good to go. I'm gonna be painting it with um, the Bellwood color from Fusion. Uh, it's a paint that my wife used for another project she was doing. So I'm just gonna use this because we have some leftovers. All right, onto the paint. So now that I got you guys watching me paint holes, I just wanted to let you know that I'm working on an idea where I gather information or, uh, or answers of questions that I had during this process of not only this build, but other builds and uh, packaging that all together and being able to share that with you. So whether it's in the form of shorts or maybe shorter long form videos, I still haven't figured that out yet, but if you have a, a comment for me, please let me know. And what, how should I package this for you guys? This is what we're using. A little spray on lacquer. For some, great. Dropping everything. Okay. As you can see, everything is a little bit elevated. So it doesn't stick to the cardboard. And we're gonna do multiple coats. You don't wanna go too heavy. You wanna let nice thin coat, it'll dry up. We'll come back around and then once we do all the outside, we'll flip everything over and hit the bottom a couple times. And uh, yeah, oh no, the sun's coming out. I don't really want these baking in the sun, but they're looking pretty good. So we're just gonna flip them over. Now they're all dried up. We'll just hit the other side with it. And there you have it folks, some really big dice. So it's four days later and I just uploaded my second pair for $40. So I sold the two pairs at $40 and the one I just sold, I was informed that they weren't even gonna be using it outside. They were gonna set it up as a decorative piece in their house or office, I'm not too sure where, but I just thought that that was wicked and uh, you know that opens up potential doors to even sell these things in the winter time as well. Now get out there and go build something. If you're looking for more inspiration, maybe check out one of these videos. And as always, keeping it real. Ooh. Ooh.